Welcome back. If you're just joining us, the program is Summit, and um, in the first, first segment of the program, we'll be looking at issues of the environment, talking about waste disposal. And joining us for this discussion, we have uh, the chairman of our Lagos State, Mr. Ola Dipo Mbeyemi, joining us. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Good to have you on the program this morning. Of course, our viewers will be curious, which one is our Awam. That's Association <laughs> of Waste, Waste Managers, Managers of, of yes. Nigeria. Yes. And you are the chairman, Lagos State Chapter. I'm the president. Oh, the, you are the president? Yeah, oh, the sorry. national president. National president. Yes. President. Oh, very good. Yes. So you oversee the activities of your members nationwide? Absolutely. The, the, Absolutely. So where's your officer? Um, we have our secretary at number 239, Agege Road. But we are planning on moving uh, most likely towards the Iketa area here. You are not planning to move to Abuja? <laughs> <laughs> so that you'll be central? <laughs> no, you know, Lagos State is um, where it is happening. Uh, we are the pace setters, we are the pioneer of everything. Um, waste in Nigeria and from here we it is easy to be able to monitor all other states in Nigeria. Now you coordinate? We do, yes. You have state chairman? We do, we do. And you hold meetings which, on we, a regular we do, basis? We hold meetings, um, we give directives, we listen to um, their challenges and as at when necessary we either deploy um, people to go and attend to it or sometimes personally we have to go there. We want to assume we don't know anything about your situation. So what do you do? What's the association? What are the objectives? Well, the objectives of the Association of Waste Managers is primarily to make sure that um, waste is properly managed um, within our environment. Um, everybody knows that every household generates waste and um, there's a proper way of waste management. We are teaching people the three R's, which is to reduce, to reuse, and to recycle waste. Mm -hmm. So um, right now, currently, what we are doing is actually waste generation mm -hmm. and waste transportation. Well, it goes beyond that. Mm -hmm. Oh, you do waste generation? Well, waste generation is generated by each household. Okay. And then waste transportation is what the current PSP operators are doing. Transportation from the households and directly to um, the dump site. Um, where, which is the final risk in place. Yes, I want to take you up on the three R's. Reduce, yeah, which is to reduce, the reuse, reuse and, and recycle. recycle. Right. Okay, let's talk about reduce. Okay. If you talk about reduce, are you talking about from the people or from you? Directly from the people. Okay. What, we, what we want to do is to also work like the developed or the Western countries. And that is a standard that has been set to make sure that people are actually aware of um, the waste possibly becoming um, wealth mm -hmm. and in able to do that everybody must partake in that cycle it starts from the waste generation which is from the people mm -hmm. and what we teach them is how to what we are proposing um, to teach them is how to sort the waste mm -hmm. directly from the house mm -hmm. so that you reduce the volume of waste that is being cut into the compactors mm -hmm. there are different kinds of waste you have the, the wet waste, which is your normal uh, generated waste in the kitchen, and you have the dry waste, your dry waste, which is what you uh, normally dispose of when you don't need it of. Okay. You're in bottles, Denmark. That's yeah. your bottles, your pep bottles, um, um, paper, um, um, metals, and all sorts. And then you can sort all those out because the pep bottles can be reused and recycled into a new product. Your metal can be reused recycled into new products. In some cases, you infuse uh, latest technology to combine those materials with other materials and produce a new product. Yes, so I'm happy that you're talking about reduction. Now, this uh, uh, waste that is being sorted, like the bottles sorted, the metal sorted, don't you think they will constitute like a nuisance to the people because um, you are keeping them separately? Actually not. Um, because if you are sorting directly from your households, what you're doing as well is generating uh, some revenues through that. Because there will be off-takers who actually need these yes. this, this, uh, materials that have already become waste. To them, it becomes a byproduct to their final product. Mm -hmm. So they take it off you and give you stipends for that, give you some sort of payment for that. So when you have an arrangement in place and you have off-takers for these raw materials, it becomes, uh, your waste becomes wealth to you, right from your doorsteps. 
because then you have somebody coming to take your pep bottles and giving you incentives for that saying okay you have generated 20 bottles of pep, pep but, um, 22 bottles of uh, waste from the pep bottles and then when i give it to him he gives me two naira 20 naira example wise now <laughs> so you know that after a period of time you collect that you don't litter the floor you know we are used to a certain way uh, in this society and that is just deliberately littering the floor and throwing your waste out of your car windows and in front of your porches and everything and that led to the pre-1999 coming out waste disposal disposal where everybody does indiscriminately disposes of their refuse and we have gone beyond that now we are in the stage now that we want to also be world uh, class uh, uh, standard uh, which is obtainable in the western countries and that is the normal way of being able to wait, dispose of waste mm -hmm. so in being able to do that we need to re-educate the mentality of, of the masses mm -hmm. not to indiscriminately dispose the refuse to be able to sort the refuse directly from generation and to be able to generate also some revenue from the waste and that's the way we're going right now um, sir, um, since I said we're going to, what are uh, the focus of this uh, um, edition? It's uh, an issue that uh, has been of great concern to many, particularly many Lagosians. We are aware of the the history of uh, Awam, Loma, waste generation over time, the last two, three decades. But uh, you and I know that in the last three years, Everything seems to have changed. Yes. The orientation of the end of the waste generators, the people of Lagos State, is that they would generate the waste, and the PSP would come, come over yes. to their doorstep right. and cut away the the waste. Right. But in the last three years, it's not been so. We are aware. We don't want to belabor you with why. You know, it's a policy policy issue. Yes. But now the policy is being reversed, so to speak. Yes. That's in the last couple of months. Yeah. Yet we see waste on our roads, on the highways. And we, the issue has always been, what are the PSP operators doing? They are the ones responsible for this. They hardly ever come. That's what we hear from the generators. Is it that you are, your members are not doing their job or something is also wrong in terms of policy? Thank you very much. Um, I think it is not easy to just um, segmentally look at um, the challenges in waste management in Lagos State right now, or in the country at large. We have to have a holistic approach towards it. And by doing so, we have to talk about the core um, reason why we have gone from where we were to where we are now. And you mentioned one of it, which is the main cause, which is the policy somersault of the government. Uh, well, the government meant well. The government meant well. They meant well. They wanted to take us to the international best practices and um, bring waste management from the level it was to the next level, Higher level, which is the reuse, reduce, and recycle mm. stage. Unfortunately, it had to be all encompassing. Mm. You don't change your winning team without knowing exactly what to do. You know, you have to make sure that players, mega players in the industry are consulted, are involved in whatever policy you want to enact or change. Mm. That was not the the the, 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 the situation at that time and that took us like almost 10 20 years back because it has taken us about two decades to get to where we are mm -hmm. and you have to understand that the association of waste managers or waste management generally uh, emanated from Lagos State the pioneer of waste management is a grand preacher as well as in Tinubu, who actually started PSP operation and um, took us away from the communal dumping that we were used to indiscriminate dumping all over. Lagos State used to be the dirtiest, one of the dirtiest cities in the world. Mm -hmm. And so we got to a stage that we became one of the cleanest cities in the world. Not only in Africa, but also in the world. A lot of African countries started coming to come and learn from the model that we had put in place. So because the government had good intentions and did not go about it in a proper manner, we went back unfortunately about 10 15 years now having said that in the past uh, four months the psp operator have been fully back fully back doing fully, the, you fully, fully completely back doing the job they know having said that there are still some hurdles or obstacles 
that are hampering 100% service. Part of which also lies in the final resting place of refuge, which is the dump site. Um, we should set up material recovery facilities. Material recovery, recovery facilities. facilities. We do have some. What do you mean by that? Right. Material recovery facilities are also um, in tandem with the three R's, which is to sort out the waste, the wet waste and the dry waste, you know, from what it is to different particles so that the recyclers can now use them as byproducts and use them and it doesn't become waste and milk, it becomes um, wealth. wealth. So at the material recovery facilities, um, metals are separated from your organic waste. Inorganic waste are sub-separated again from metal to, to pepper tools to uh, scrap metals, uh, uh, metals and papers and cardboard and what have you. And from there, off the task come and take them and take them to their factories respectively and use them as their raw materials to bring out another good material. So those material recovery facilities are needed. Right now we we had I think about three. One in um, Olusosun, near Olusosun, uh, um, sorry no, one in um, Igondo area and Solus, one in uh, Oba Ogunji area in Agege and the other one in Simpson area. Unfortunately all the three are not really fully operational right now. That is number one. Number two, the dump sites that we are normally used to, which is the final resting place of refuse, um, is not fully operational because there are certain ways of taking care of a, a dump site. A dump site needs to be set up in such a way that the leachate, which is uh, the decomposition of the wet waste, when it decomposes, it produces some organic gases, some gases yeah. that can be redirected and be used to do different things. Mm -hmm. So if you don't separate all those things, you pollute the groundwater. Mm -hmm. You do so many damages to our earth with it. So we need to properly manage our dump sites. That has not been the case. We need to build new engineered landfill sites. That we need to get to. So right now, the uh, uh, Solus dump site, which is at Igondo, is closed down. A lot of operators are being redirected from Olusosun to go to other dump sites that are in use now. Um, be the one at um, uh, Abuleba and the one at um, so, uh, Olusosun, which is at Ojota, and we have one in Ekorodo uh, 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 as well. So, you see, you have redirected the traffic from uh, what you call it from Solus in uh, Igodo, and you have redirected it to all those places. You are creating a new traffic there. Unfortunately, all those places are also are not at optimal use. You know, rainy season is here. You are bound to have traffic. You are bound to have trucks queuing up to do what they need to do. The turnaround time has been elongated. So in other words, you, are, you admit that the problem is still very much with us. I'm talking about even the problem that is with the, the PSP okay. operators. Okay. Majority of Responsible the problem... Responsible for the... The cutting away of the refuse. I mean so the when, cut when, the you cut, when, you, when you deploy a truck... refuse being dumped on the highways. That's exactly what I'm talking when you, when you When you deploy a truck to come to our household to pack the refuse, it does one, two, three, four, five streets, I and the truck that. is filled up. And you need to take it to the dump site, empty it, I'm return, return it exactly. To but when you have an elongated time, you have to travel like six hours. Absolutely, and then you have to stay on the queue also for God knows maybe a day or two. That makes the turnaround time longer. But the major problem lies also with individuals because of the fact that during the time of the policy somersault, a lot of people thought there was absolutely no need for you to pay for refuse. Uh, 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 what you call it, refuse management anymore. So they bring their refuse from their households to the median, to the main roads, to dark spots, and they create mini dump sites through that. So now that we are back, fully back on deck, there's a very, very massive need for the sensitization of the people's yeah. orientation. That's that, the next question I wanted to ask you, that um, it, it's obvious that you mean well, yes. especially as regarding refuse disposal, 
uh, transforming refuse to wealth and all that. And um, there's a, a lot of need to educate and enlighten people Absolutely. on this issue of sorting west, wet and dry waste. waste. And you know, everything that, that encompasses this uh, process, yes. you know, so we're going to be taking it um, one after the other on the Faces. program. Yeah, because uh, this segment come, will come up weekly. And so you have the opportunity to educate the people. They really need to... The sensitization, yeah, really the reorientation, yeah, and, uh, and what is required of the waste generators. Exactly, exactly. I'm very much interested in this issue of sorting. And then after sorting, who am I going to sell it to? Right. Because you need to enlighten us on right. that. So this segment will also come up next week. No problem. So please want to enjoy you viewers. This program comes... Uh, this segment comes up every week on the program and then we want to educate you and let you know what you can do on your issues of waste disposal and then um, he could also give us his phone number you need to call him to get feedback ask questions people need to be able to reach you yes. so for what number do you think um, um well uh, my direct link uh, we do have a number unfortunately i didn't come with me okay. um but i'll give my direct link um which is 0908 um, nine six take it, take it slowly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's zero nine zero eight two five two nine six nine five. I repeat zero nine zero eight two five two nine six nine five. And so that you can temporarily get get me. And yes. if you have issues, if you have operators not doing their job properly, if you have people indiscriminately dumping refuse on the way, we want to be able to identify those people. Mm -hmm. We're telling them it's not going to be business as usual anymore. Mm -hmm. We need to depart from that phase okay. because your PSP operators are now working. A lot of people have blatantly refused to give their refuse to PSP operators. Wow. Because oh, let me not start another discussion. <laughs> it, 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 it can take days. <laughs> we need to close up this segment now. <laughs> All right, then we've been discussing with Mr. Logic Boy, may be the national the president, president. Our, yes. uh, but he's uh, st uh, uh, residing in Lagos, but he's the national president of that um, association. Thank you so much for joining us. You're we'll welcome. see you again next week. No Monday. problem. Thank you very much. More prepared. It's a new chapter <laughs> in. Uh, <laughs> All right, we'll take a break now. We'll be talking politics next, looking at the supplementary election coming up this Saturday in six states of Nigeria. Stay with us. <laughs>